<laughs> we were telling you guys it was bad weather to prove that. Yeah. There is it a tornado watch? Tornado tor watch, yeah. Tornado watch. So if I could fly this plane in this weather, anyone can. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of love, by the way. The fact that they let me play with their toys and this nice. During a tornado. During a tornado uh, warning. Yeah. You ready to have some fun, KK? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I love it when when he says low rates, it still rolls like that. <laughs> Man, this is cool. I think this is the first time I've ever gotten to fly in a uh, or tornado uh, watch. So this is your first cool. tornado flight. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna flip it up to high rate. Man, it's just, it's happy. If you can learn to actually enjoy the wind and use it, yeah. it, it actually increases the amount of fun. Correct. And, and also the ability that you have. Yep. Now that I know how to do a flash film, we'll do one more. We'll go into the wind so we kind of end it a little bit further. There you go. He's thinking. Nice. Hey. Am I doing it okay? I, oh, perfect. I, you can just sit there all day long. <laughs> nice you go, yeah. more, you go more in there onto the right. More and get flatter. See? Oh, look at that! See? It gets more. It never gets old! <laughs> oh my goodness. Dan, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to the high mode, and this is where you can kind of harrier it and, and really right. play with it, right? Right. And this is where your shark teeth really kind of play a better That's, attack. And right now, they're working hard. Look at that. Look at you! Look at it, it's so much fun! And just gotta pop it up and see if we can power Look at that! <laughs> Here, I'll start spinning. There you go. There you go. Look at oh, that! <laughs> oh, I love awesome. it. <laughs> Nicely okay. done. On that note, I'm gonna call it. This is cool. <laughs> Nicely done, dude. Most of the time when, when you hit a foam plane and you start to flare, it just kind of right. kind of balloons up. This settles down right into the ground. Right, right. This is a, what I call a nice combination of, of, of feel in flight. Yeah. You carry the weight and the mass yeah. and also it feels light. Yeah. It's ideal for those guys that are going to go for the next step, like the Mamba 10 yeah. or the extra 300. They're looking for the next step. This is the ideal airplane to the do next that. next one for that. Yeah. It's, it's what it's about all our airplanes, what we yeah. try to do. It's not to do just one thing. It's only a 3D airplane yeah. or precision. It does everything. Yeah. And that's why you want an airplane. And that's what it challenges is when you want to do everything. The Cap 232. Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky subject to do to make it to fly right. I want to do a cap for many, many years. Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure it out until it took me many years until I said, okay, now I can do it. And the plane is flying true and honest, no coupling. You know, it's about half of the price when you compare it with putting a balsa airplane in this same yeah. class. Yeah. And you get a similar performance. So that's one of the things that we really uh, try hard at Flex Innovations is to bring value, you know, yeah. value on the, what you buy. You know, anyone that knows me and knows my flying, and I am a lifetime solid mediocre pilot, but I can take a deep breath, I can relax, and I like the fact that just three different switch positions, three different modes gives you those worlds. very slow And it's 20 mile an hour winds. And I'm like, how in the world is this plane not blown away? But he has that gyro position. You're out. It has a lot of authority and pitch, as you can see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> This does not fly like a foam plane. No. And what I like it is that you open the throttle 
and it's not foam anymore. You see the top speed. I mean, I would bring it over. I would do like a high speed pass, and you can see the speed of the airplane is phenomenal. Is it? <laughs> Short, uh, flat speed. Very flat, very nicely. We go up and we do a little nice spin. Foam airplanes are hard to do, okay? This one goes crazy. Point goal. Well, you've been flying for 30 plus years, right? Yeah. Safe to say you know how to design an airplane. I think for sure. <laughs> wow. So something really cool inside this is something called the, uh, is it the Aura 8 in this one? Yes. So it's the Aura 8, and that gives you the ability to have a much larger plane field, but also in weather like this, you know, in Ohio where we are, we don't get the best weather all the time, so we gotta deal with what we get. But this makes the experience, even in bad weather where it's windy and kind of crummy, you can still have a lot of fun flying in the air. A lot of you guys may not know with Kike's Bass history, why don't you give us like a, a brief synopsis of like how long have you been flying? Okay. What did you fly in? I will make it short because I'm an old man. I'm 51. So <laughs> okay. I started flying when I was nine. Born in Argentina and flew there for many years and then moved to the state um, back in the year 2000. You know, I won the world championships and different classes, F38, uh, freestyle. I also have a tournament of champion. I don't know if you guys know, but it was like um, all the best pilots in the world yeah. coming to do and uh, aerobatics in Las Vegas. I won four, four of those. Oh my and goodness. then many other tournaments around. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing, you know, for many yeah. years doing that. So, yeah. you know, I'm retired for competition, no more yeah. competition. But at the end of the day, when you retire and everything, it's always your thanks that I'm doing what I like. Yeah. You know, I keep doing it even after competition now with all the, uh, you know, flex team member and we all having good time yeah. and doing what we love. We got to spend a lot of time uh, with Kike yesterday and his whole team, and, and that was the one thing is, even the way they refer to the airplanes is they recognize these are tools. These are tools of something much more special, and that's whether you're growing your skills as a pilot, you're making a memory, you're connecting with friends, um, and, and you're getting to become a, a better pilot and a better expert you know, in the, in the direction you wanna go. And one thing with flight tests is we want people to grow. We want people to connect with other people and always aspire to learn more, do better. And it's really an honor for flight tests to be able to partner up with companies like Flex Innovations. Spend Time, fly planes, have a good laugh with you, and, uh, and hopefully you guys are getting inspired to go that next step further. Thanks so much for being part of the Flight Test family, and we'll see you next time.